Question 29. The table shows monthly repayments for each $1,000 borrowed. Part A. A couple borrows $520,000 to buy a house at 8% per annum over 25 years. How much does the couple repay in total for this loan? The first thing we need to do is to identify the correct factor from the table. Looking at the information presented in part A, the interest rate per annum is 8%, which means referencing this row here, and it's over a period of 25 years, which means referencing this column here. And the intersection of this row and this column is this value here, 7.72. So that's the factor that I've written down here. The next step is to determine the monthly repayment. So if we go back to the beginning, the table shows the monthly repayments for each $1,000 borrowed. So the question is, how many lots of $1,000 is in $520,000? In fact, if we just scratch out these three zeros here, we have 520 lots of 1,000. So the monthly repayment is worked out by 520 lots of 1,000 times the factor that we found previously, so times 7.72, and that equals $4,014.40. The final step is to work out the total repayments. So that's the monthly repayment, $4,014.40, multiplied by 12 months in a year, or 12 repayments in one year, multiplied by 25 years. And that gives us $1,204,320. Part B. Chris borrows some money at 7% per annum. Chris will repay the loan over 15 years, paying $3,596 per month. How much money does Chris borrow? First things first, we need to work out the correct factor to use from the table, given the information in part B. So the interest rate per annum is 7%, and it's over a period of 15 years. Going back to the table, that means referencing this row here, and this column here. And the intersection of that row and column is this value here, 8.99. So basically what we're doing is reversing the process that we used in part A. So the principal or the amount borrowed is the monthly repayment divided by the factor that we just found. So $3,596 divided by 8.99. That gives us how many lots of $1,000 that was borrowed. So we need to multiply that by 1,000 to give us the actual amount, which is $400,000.